Happy Thursday evening, the second evening or day of September 2021. Hopefully you had a wonderful time in the Lord and enjoyed his riches, his blessings, his faithfulness from the rising of the sun, the east, all the way when the sun set and to this very moment. God is worthy to be praised. He allowed us to witness this very hour and we are in Psalms 38. I don't know if you had some confrontations today or combative situations. Maybe you were misunderstood and God promises to be our avenger for he is the Lord of hosts. He fights your battles and we know that the meek shall delight in abundance of peace. We read that today. So it's important for us to be humble, humble ourselves under the mighty hand of God for in due season, in due time, he will exalt us. But if there is a disagreement, it says to make peace, follow peace with all men, if at all possible. God wants us to be peacemakers. Blessed are the peacemakers. For they shall, are, is the, are those the ones who shall see God? We know that there is a benefit. It says, yes, they shall be called the children of God in Matthew 5, 9. So it's so important that we emulate and show the world how to resolve conflict. We need to be the ones who are meek for they shall inherit the earth. Now we're not punks, we're truth tellers, but we are ones who are trying to seek peace. Blessed are the pure in heart. We're not trying to be deceptive, we're not trying to hide anything. And when we have that, they shall see God. They shall have intimate communication with the Lord throughout their life. As long as we put the Lord first, and we're seeking his purity. Someone described it so wonderful today, wonderful lead today, as far as that chapter where the psalmist asks, who shall dwell in the presence of the Lord? And they mention how you have to hear, have a pure heart and clean hands. That's a disposition of what we do physically with our hands and what takes place first emotionally and mentally from our heart. Well, everything that we do, everything that we think, act, every verb comes from the seat. We have to think it first, right? It has to come from within. So it's so important that we have purity in our heart pure intentions and it's just to please God and when that is our motive then God will be pleased other things will fall in place seek ye first the kingdom of God his purity and his righteousness and yes everything falls in place amen well in Psalms 38 if you find yourself that you are in battle this helped me. David had to do this. If there's gossip, if there's any window, if there's any negativity, sometimes you have to act like you're deaf. Remember David had to act like he was <laughs> out of his mind, I think in front of Abimelech to save himself well. Sometimes you have to act crazy or you have to act like you cannot hear. And it says in verse 13 of Psalms 38. One version says, but I as a deaf man heard not and I was dumb as I didn't open my mouth. Another version said, but I am like a person who cannot hear and like a person who cannot speak. It's good when you don't have to clap back and the Lord will fight your battles. You're humble. You don't have to respond, but you just lie low and just trust the Lord. Amen. And it says, thus I was a man that heareth not and 
my mouth no reproofs. I didn't respond. For in thee, Lord, do I hope. He is the one that we trust and he will make things clear for ourselves and for others. You will answer, O oh Lord. You are the one that I hope for and I wait for. Amen. And when we do that, woo, we can just be still and know that he is God. He will be exalted, not ourselves. We're just humbling ourselves because we know in verse 19, our enemies are lively. They're real. They're strong. <laughs> they, they, they're multiplied. And they that render want to render evil, woo, they are our adversaries because you might be following the good thing. You're following the Lord. So you know that you're a target. But we know that the Lord will hasten to help us as we wait on the Lord. So be of good courage and he will strengthen your heart. Well, because of today's date, the 2nd of September, we would have gone to Proverbs 2. And we know that wisdom is the principal thing. And the Lord will show us how to shut it. When wisdom enters into our heart again, the purity and knowledge is pleasant unto our soul. Discretion shall preserve, shut our lips, and understanding shall keep thee at peace. Thank you, Lord, that we have direct access to you at all times during misunderstandings, during conflicts and combative situations. Oh God, we could just humble ourselves and know that you will be exalted in the situation. Thank you, Father, that you are our advocate, that you defend your own, and we are protected under the shadow of the Almighty. So we just rest in you, and we wait for you. In the meantime, we seek you first, and your kingdom, and your will, and everything else will fall in place. Let us have a good evening, being refreshed, and knowing that you are always with us, and you'll never leave us. In the name of Jesus, we pray, amen.